Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. It's time for another handgun showdown where the viewers of this channel decide which manufacturer makes the better handguns. This one's going to be a little different. This time we are comparing metal frame semi-auto handguns versus polymer frame. There are a lot of strong feelings on each side. But before we get into that, we need to talk about the last handgun showdown where we featured Taurus versus Rock Island Armory and this one was tight. It was really close, but in the end Taurus took it. People love the budget models. They do with Rock Island too, but the G2C and now the G3C is very popular and a lot of people vote for Taurus because of those models. We've got a good one today. So let's get to it. Let's start with metal frame handguns. These guys say don't give me that plastic. Guns were meant to be metal frame. The longevity is there, and I don't mind the weight. I want a metal frame handgun. And I've got four here to showcase. Let's start right here with the CZ75 SP01. 4.6 inch barrel, full size handgun. It's a beauty. 18 round magazines and a nice single action trigger pull. Many people love this gun. The CZ75 models are the second most copied handgun in the world next to the 1911 how about right here here's a car k9 three and a half inch barrel subcompact gun with an all steel frame very well built very tight it has all the characteristics of a car arms handgun with an all metal frame and this k9 here started the company it was the first model that car arms ever produced and it's been a hit ever since how about this the sig sour p226 i love this gun this is a Talo edition it's got a 4.4 inch barrel anodized aluminum frame currently has an 18 round magazine short reset trigger we're looking at right here all right very nice handgun some nice wood wood grips there and it, it just offers everything that anyone would want in a handgun, especially this one. I, I just find it to be amazing. And over here we've got a Magnum Research Desert Eagle Commander size 1911. And you see that engraving? I brought this one out in particular because you could do this kind of stuff with metal frame guns. Now most of the engraving and, and uh, Cerakote work is done on the slide, but it's also throughout. And you, you look at what some of the custom jobs have been created with many of the metal frame guns. It really is amazing, and this one is no different. All 1911 with a beautiful look like that. And if you're wondering, it says, Our right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. And over here it says, We the people. Big fan of metal guns, metal frame guns, I should say. And um, I think this represents them very well but now we've got the polymer frame guns and these guys say you don't get with the times they're lighter many of the frames are modular and yes they have stood the test of time they, they are reliable and they offer everything in a lighter package let's start right here with the ruger american competition gun this is a five inch barrel handgun slide cuts there this is actually newer from ruger 17 round magazines many competition guns are made in polymer frames, you know, makes it a little bit lighter, easier to tote around there. But yet you can get the full-size handgun. That's a beauty. Also optic ready with this model. Extremely accurate too. Love that gun. And over here we've got the Sig Sauer P320X Compact. A little more subcompact. It does have a 3.6 inch barrel, a flat trigger, night sights. Also optic ready. It has a... Uh, just a, a incredible package with a 15 round magazine a rail you know it just has it all for ccw and many people carry this gun and they do so with confidence they say all the features involved with that gun makes it worth the price how about over here we've got a glock 21 i've often said it probably the one of the best home defense handguns right here 45 acp 13 round magazines 4.6 inch barrel this is a gen 4 all right it's got that glock trigger there that we have come to know and love also big dot night sight right there in the front line in the back you know you've got this big handgun but yet it eats up the recoil quite well and people say that's what the power frame guns will do and they they've advanced over the years 
how about a Walther PPQ M2? My goodness, does this gun have a fan club? Excellent ergonomics in the grip, which is another thing they say. You know, the, the steel frame guys will say, you know, you, you've got the G10 grip option. Over here says, that, that, you know, the polymer can be built right into the grip. And, and each side is right. But over here, the PPQ, great fan club, excellent gun, a little lighter. But that trigger is amazing and an excellent shooting handgun. And actually, a lot of law enforcement have made their way over from metal to polymer and I think this group represents polymer frame handguns very nicely. So which is your choice? Are you more into the heavy duty metal frame semi-auto handguns or are you into the lighter polymer frame semi-auto handguns? I have to believe that many of you are like me. You're a fan of both but if you had to choose which one would you choose and I'll report the results back with the next handgun showdown. If you like videos like this please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.